Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.16.0 with the boss video. In today's video, I have four, maybe five things you possibly did not know about the with the boss on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, if you do learn something new, be sure to thumbs it up, then leave a comment down below on what you didn't know about the Wither Boss on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Also, a big thank you to some of you guys, because some of you shared it with me. First thing we need to do in this video is go to play, go to create. I'm going to put this in creative, and I'm also going to enable um, cheats, because we do need commands for some of these. I'm also going to put on always day, and I'm also going to be using a flat world. So I recommend using these commands in a brand new world. Let's create this one. The first thing I'm going to be teaching you about in today's video is that the Wither Boss actually does have a spawn egg. I didn't know this, and I wasn't expecting it to be the color that it is. How do you get this? Well, what you need to do here is go to forward slash give space at P, which stands for at player. So if you've got a really long name, do at P, then space, it's spawn underscore egg, then space one, which will give me one item, space again, 52. That is the item for the Wither Boss spawn egg. So if all is done correctly, you guys will see there, give an item spawn egg entity with a boss name, one to the real echo, which is my username. The confusing thing about this is though, like I wasn't expecting it to be this color. I was expecting it to be like more of a darker egg color, like an Enderman style or like maybe even the um, poison spider ones, but this is the spawn egg that you get as you guys can see there entity With the boss dot name or something crazy like that The next thing I want to teach you in today's video is that you can actually spawn in multiple with the bosses on Minecraft Pocket Edition Which you cannot do on console version so you can spawn as many as you want of course be careful on how many you do spawn however every time you spawn them the with the boss has a health bar now after you've spawned four they will not display any more health bars. So if we spawn in one, you can see a health bar at the top. If we spawn in two, you can see a second, three, a third, four, a fourth health bar, but it does not spawn any more health bars past that. The other exclusive that we had for Minecraft Pocket Edition is that this is an exclusive way of spawning the Wither Boss when they spin around and cause the explosion like that. Now you may notice in creative, the Wither Boss really doesn't fly. This is more of a survival feature. The next thing I wanted to teach you about, guys, is that you can actually spawn the Wither Boss's, um, like, its schools. You guys can see that they're firing their schools. Oh, and the reason why they're, they're flying up now, guys, is because they're kind of, like, fighting each other for the dominant Wither Boss. Now, going away from these guys, I'm just going to go all the way over here because otherwise they'll cause too much trouble for us. And as you guys can see, their health bars have disappeared. Something really cool that you guys showed me is that you can leave the um, like the dangerous skulls floating in the air. Now to do this, you have to do forward slash summon and then do space and then it's wither dot skull and then space and then you need to use these. So do that space, that space, that space, which will spawn it on top of you. And as you guys will be able to see now is that it spawns like the wither boss like skull or thing that it fires at you. Now these are dangerous, so if I was to hit this, it's gonna do an explosion. It's kind of like a mini TNT explosion. But if you wanna decorate your world with these, they are really, 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 really fun. Now there is a second way to spawn them, and I don't know the difference between this one and the second one I'm about to do. So the second one is forward slash summon space wither dot skull dot dangerous. Now I have no idea what the difference is between the wither dot skull and the wither dot Skull dangerous. I couldn't tell you guys. Maybe someone can figure it out down below. And as you guys can see, that we've summoned the second ones. They look exactly the same. I don't see any difference at all, unless one is more powerful than the other. So I'm gonna explode this one first, and then this one. And it looks like I'd say, well, this one's done a damage of four. This one's done a damage of five. So I want to test this one more time. I want to see if it does any difference again. So it could just be down to the explosion. Let's just do forward slash summon space wither dot skull and then oops we need to do forward slash sorry guys forward slash summon space wither dot skull and then we need to do it on our, our location it's this this and this okay we've summoned that and we're also going to do exactly the same again so we'll stand right here and we'll do forward slash summon wither dot skull dot dangerous and then we're gonna do it on our location, one, 
2, and 3. And we're going to see what the difference is again. Maybe it is the explosion. So this one is a normal one, which will be 4. Yes. And is this one going to be a little bit more? That one was 4 as well. So by the looks of things, I don't see any difference. All right. So the last thing I'm going to share with you in today's video is a little bit of an exclusive feature from Minecraft Pocket Edition. And that is when you're attacking the Wither Boss, it will actually spawn with the skeletons in the overworld, which is not possible in any other version of Minecraft. I thought it's an incredible exclusive. It is an exclusive because I've spoke to Darn Geek. So when you're attacking the Wither Boss, all right, when it gets to a certain point, it will it will glow up. And when it glows up, it will drop three or four Wither Skeletons. I believe the harder difficulty you uh, increase, the more skeletons that will be spawned. But I'll show you exactly when we get there. Here we go. Come on, mister. Come on, mister. With the boss. Give us your give us your skeletons. Come on. There we go. Right there. So as you guys can see, he got angry. He gets really, really angry and protective and spawns the Wither Skeletons, which seem to attack the Wither Boss. As you guys can see, he started to attack him then, um, which... It's a bit confusing because I kind of class these as the babies of the uh, the Wither Boss itself. So yeah, guys, hopefully you did learn something new. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about the Wither Boss. Let me know how many Wither Bosses you've killed in survival so far. Be sure to tweet me the pictures of your survival world beacons. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!